Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm back at you with another video, man. New media, notification game, God Squad. That's what it is, man. Hey, I could not be Sean Porter right now. I know some of y'all is thinking, like, why? Why are you saying that? I feel like what Kenny Porter is doing, now don't get me wrong, Sean Porter is a two-time world champ with his dad. Two times, right? Why the fuck is Barry Hunter in your camp? Why did you need to call another trainer to come in your camp? Why? What is Barry Hunter going to do for Sean Porter that Kenny Porter can't do? If I'm if I'm training with a fighter and I'm working with him or her, preparing them for a big fight, big title fight, I'm not calling no other trainer. I'm not calling no other world class trainer to work with my with my fighter. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. My fighter's gonna work with me and me only, unless it's like a team of us. But I'm not gonna call some whole other trainer from across the fucking pond to come to my camp. Now if we don't have a fight set up and we just, you know, stand in shape, stand with it and we go to his to his gym and we just working out or he going to his gym just to work with Barry Hunter on some on, on his own type shit. That's different. But I ain't calling you to come to my camp. I ain't calling you to come work with my fighter in my camp because in my mind and from what I'm seeing, that shows it's something lacking in Mr. Kenny Porter. It's something lacking there. It's something that Kenny don't got something that Kenny Porter is missing that Barry Hunter, I guess, is bringing to the table. But even still, it makes me question, you know, because I've watched I've watched Kenny Porter train Sean and it's some. Um, Sean Porter style is equivalent. I'm trying to find a way to word this without looking like I'm trying to shit on Kenny Porter because I, I respect Kenny Porter. I, I do. I really do. If Joe Calzaki's dad, who, who had no ex boxing experience whatsoever, could make Joe Calzaki what what he was, I can't say nothing about some dude that actually has some boxing experience, actually fought, actually competed. So I feel he do have more experience and knowledge in the game than Joe Calzaki's dad, regardless of what Joe Calzaki became, because Joe Calzaki is not Sean Porter. But I don't want to seem like I'm hating on Kenny because I like dude. I do. I like dude. But it's something missing in his game as a trainer. Something. Because when I look at Sean Porter's style, his style reminds me of the old school Mike Tyson custom model pickaboo style. You know, and when I see Sean Porter training with Kenny and he's doing little stuff that's that's similar to the peekaboo style. Kenny not teaching that shit right. Like, Sean Porter, the way he fight is so Mike Tyson, Mike, Mike Tyson-esque. You know what I'm saying? Like, he fight like old school Mike Tyson, like 80s Mike Tyson. He just don't, he just don't get to that low center of gravity like Tyson did. You know, being low, getting under you, boom, boom. He don't do that like that. You know what I mean? He don't, he don't slip like Tyson did. You know what I'm saying? And I see that because I watch how Sean Porter be so tall. When Sean Porter fight and he trying to get in, he's real. He kind of tall, a little too tall. Because when I see him training with Kenny Porter, he do be getting like, he do catch little hits and shit. And even when I saw him doing the little, uh, the little training workout with uh, Shane Mosley and Shane Mosley was supposedly imitating Danny Garcia, Sean Porter was still getting hit. Not like hard, but you could still see him, you know, catching shit. Like he would still get caught with some of that shit. And I don't mean like caught like, you know, a little, little this, a little that. Like he was getting hit. Like, oh, okay. And some of those punches, if not maybe 80% of them, they shouldn't have hit Sean Porter. Based on his style. Sean Porter needs to be low. Sean Porter mainly should use mostly his legs with his style. 
He should not be up so tall. He shouldn't only get low when he want to get in. He should stay there. Sean Porter should stay low. He should stay there to get in. Slipping, dipping, breaking down. You know what I'm saying? He should stay there. Not meaning just do it because he want to get off. He should just do it just to be defensive and aware. Tyson didn't just slip just to get in. He slipped to throw you off. Like, he'll just sit there, slip, boom, 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 and then come in. And it's a wrap for you. He, he throwing bombs. As he's coming in, he's coming in throwing. He don't just come in and then kind of hit you with his head and try to find shit. He's coming in throwing. That's one thing I noticed about Sean Porter, and that was why he had but Andre Berto so goddamn much. He wasn't coming in throwing. He would come in and then try to throw. He didn't throw as he's coming in. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm hitting you, and then I come in. You know what I'm saying? Versus I come in with my head and then I try to hit you and I'm hitting you all over here and behind the head and shit. It's like, nah. Sean Porter would be a guru at the peekaboo style if he was trained properly. I don't feel like Kenny Porter is training him properly. I think Kenny Porter took him to a level and he can't he not going to go past that. That don't mean he's not on a good level or a high level. That just means he's at a certain level. And he's just like staying there. He's not boom, 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 or just going up. He's just staying at the same. Because if you look at Sean Porter's fights, do he ever fight different? Even when he's fighting a different type of opponent, different opposition that could do different types of things. Do you see Sean Porter ever fight different? No, he fights the same. Using his head, everybody say the same shit. Sean Porter, dirty fire. He hitting, he's head butting you. All that blah 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 bullshit. I'm gonna tell you right now, Danny Garcia is gonna keep his distance. He's not gonna stay on the inside with Sean Porter. He gonna box him because Sean Porter has proven time and time and time and time again, if you can box, you can beat him. He's proven it. If you could box and you got good footwork and you could step around Sean and all that shit, you could beat him. Because Sean fights in a straight... Sean don't use no angles. I ain't never seen Sean use no goddamn angles. He coming around, stepping around you. I ain't never seen that shit. I seen Tyson do it. But I ain't never seen Sean Porter really just coming in when he don't got that first initial... When he first initially come in and he don't got it, he don't step around you. He don't do that shit. He don't. He don't do it consistently. I seen Sean do it. I ain't gonna lie. I seen Sean do it once in the Adrian Broner fight. I saw him do it one time. One time. But naturally, on a reflex type thing, he don't do it. Adrian do. When you get too close on Adrian, Adrian will, will wrap around you and get around you quick. Quick. He don't fuck around. Adrian good at that. Sean Porter don't do that shit. Now maybe he might do it this fight. We never know. Personally, I'm going with Danny Garcia. Just because, to keep it real with y'all, damn near every fight Danny Garcia has had, I've went against him. Literally. Except the Keith Thurman fight. That was a fight I, I won. I don't like Keith Thurman. I don't, I don't like that nigga. I feel like he like Wilder. He a one-trick pony. Like, he just got some decent skill. Then the motherfucker get married, get some pussy, and now he like, fuck it. I won belts. I got these belts. I'm good on. I'm, I'm happy now. He ain't hungry no more. He won the WBC. He was a unified champion, all the shit. He ain't hungry no more. He he did. He accomplished some shit in boxing. Got married. Living a life right now. He ain't. Keith Thurman ain't hungry. He ain't hungry. He don't want no smoke. I think Keith Thurman might fight. Might fight. Danny Garcia. Just because Danny Garcia is going to win the belt. Just to try to get his belt back type shit. You know what I'm saying? But Keith Thurman ain't finna fight Errol Spence. For one, Keith Thurman can't take body shots. That's another video. But who I got, I'm going with Danny Garcia to beat Sean Porter. I think Danny Garcia is going to really show some real skill. Um, the fact that when I see the um, Sean Porter, Keith Thurman fight versus the um, Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman fight. I think Sean fought Keith better. I think he did, but I think that Danny finished the fight better than Sean did.
Like, Sean started the fight pretty good. You know, the middle rounds was really good for Sean and all that stuff. But Danny really dominated Keith towards the end of the fight. Like, you know, at first, you know, Danny got hit and was kind of stubble a little bit. But once Danny got used to Keith Thurman's power, he started walking him down and started catching him with shit. And then it, what I learned is that Keith Thurman can dish it, but he, he, he can't take it like that. Like, if you hit him with flush shit, he don't want that. He showed that in the Sean Porter fight. He showed that in the Colazzo fight with body punches. You hit him in the body good, he going to back up. He don't he don't like getting hit in the body. And he don't take getting hit in the head clean too well either. You can see it in his face when he get hit. He's like, oh, shit, no, I don't want it. You know what I mean? So, personally, Danny Garcia is going to win. Skill-wise, there's, there's nothing that Sean Porter brings to the table that I don't think Danny is going to not be prepared for. So... You can go with Sean Porter all you want to. I'll be gladly sitting on my Danny Garcia bandwagon for this fight. And let that be that. Period, point blank. You already know what it is, man. It's your boy, DT3. New media, notification gang, God squad. It's what it is, man. Follow your boy on Instagram at DT underscore boom. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I hit y'all with some hot shit, man. I don't fuck around, man. Facts only. Got some more videos coming for you real soon, man. Holla at your boy. 100.